So I just wanted to cover this real quick because uh, I haven't really seen a whole lot of other videos out there. It goes over the uh, timing lock tool on the M54s. I suspect this is probably pretty similar on the M55s and S55s. And rotating the um, cylinder to top dead center on cylinder number one. Um, you're going to insert your timing tool, which a lot of the timing kits for the Chinesium, like Amazon, eBay, M54 timing kits will come with this. Um, the one I bought came with two different lengths. And you want to use the longer of the two, I believe. So where you insert the timing tool... This is on a stand, obviously, but I noticed it was not too clear where to insert this piece into. So here's your oil pan, and then here's the beginning of the actual the cradle of the block. And right back here under the webbing, there's gonna be a there's a piece of plastic that is like capped it um it's acts as like a cap you have to peel that off and remove it and then you'll see the hole right here and here's what the timing tool looks like or the lock pin rather as kind of it's round but kind of i don't know if i can get this to focus there's a flat side to it, it has an actual flat and you just want to place this thing right back here. This is an automatic, so this is the flex plate. I'm not sure what this looks like on a manual flywheel. But on the back of this flex plate, there's a hole that goes through the flex plate. And then there's this thin piece of sheet metal where this actually go all the way through um one word of caution here do not rely on this little lock pin to act as some sort of brace to, um to prevent rotation of the engine because that's not going to really um prevent a lot of you know that's not going to um take a lot of abuse from like a high load or torque with you like torquing down with a breaker bar um you can see here that's a really thin piece of sheet metal so you don't want to rely on this thing for a lot of torque they make other tools to lock down like via the front crank hub if you're trying to remove or install the crank hub, you're going to want one of these to go on the crank hub. And this is the counter hold. If you're going to rely on that lock pin, you're going to just you're going to bend it or break it. Anyways, I just wanted to go over this cuz I haven't seen a lot of videos out there on this. Uh, this is an N54 and this is also the Vargas engine stand that's allowing us to look get a better look at the uh flex plate end of this so anyways just thought this was kind of interesting so wanted to take a quick quick video thanks